Hello, it's Sharon, your guitar guide, helping you find your sound. And today, welcome to the channel and welcome to 2020. Wow, a new decade. Today, I'm going to show you a song by The White Stripe called You Don't Know What Love Is. That's coming up. Today, I had a request from Salvador, and that's a song from the White Stripe called You Don't Know What Love Is. I'll tell you the truth, I've never heard of this song, but I took on the challenge. And this is a, a good song. I'm going to show you the chords in the song and all the bits and pieces that make up this great song by the White Stripe. And stay tuned till the end, because I've also got the tab that'll help you out for this song, and I'll tell you how to get it. So... Without further ado, let's learn You Don't Know What Love Is by The White Stripe. And thanks, Salvador, for requesting this song. So the chords in the song are A. E. And D. And this song has got some good strumming in it, so you could just play the chords, but I'm going to also show you all the picking that goes on, so you can learn the chords first and the rhythm of it, and then all the bits and pieces that make up the song. There's two beats to every chord. It's A, E, D, and back to A, so it's... does that four times but while the rhythm's going on there's some picking going on on top of it and it goes like this on and I'm just gonna name the frets we're on the G string so the third string at the sixth fret <laughs> So what that is, is the sixth string of the third fret, pick that twice. Then you go to the fourth fret. And it basically, to get it to sound right, you're releasing your finger, third finger off of the G string. Don't completely take it completely off the string, just release the pressure so there's two picks of the third string at the sixth fret then the fourth fret then the fifth fret of the G string so we're hammering on the sixth fret you pick the G string and hammer on the sixth fret so your fingers on the fifth fret of the G string, pick it, hammer on the sixth fret. So we got. Then we're gonna pick the fifth fret of the B string, the second string. Then we go up here to the eighth fret of the B string. 
pick it twice and then pick the seventh fret of the B string. So we're. So after we go, then we're doing this again. Five, six, five on the B string. Pick the G string again. Fourth fret of the G string. And the seventh fret of the D string, the fourth string. Get used to doing that because it's. There's a lot of that in this song. Five, hammer on six. Five of the B. Six of the G. Four of the G. Seven of the D string. So it's all together we've got. Once you learn this part, it's throughout the song. And then after that it goes. So what that is, is the same thing. We start on the G string at the 5th fret. Hammer on the 6th fret. 5th fret of the B. Back to the 6th fret of the G. 4th fret of the G. 7 of the uh, D string. Then we go to the D string on the 5th fret. Pick it. Excuse me, 6th fret of the G string. Fifth fret of the B string. Then we go back to the eighth fret of the B string. Then to the seventh fret of the B string. Here's what we got so far. That little part. So back to the 5 on the G string, 6 on the G string, 5 on the B string, 6, 4 on the G string, 7 on the D. Then after that, it goes right into the A chord. A, E, D, A, A, E, D, E, and then A, E, D, A, A. So when he's done, he comes up here and plays the A bar chord. He goes. But you could just go. What's your... I'm using my first finger to bar the A chord. And then I release the strings, but not, I release the tension, but not completely remove my finger off of it. And then press it down again. So it's. So it's. Or you can do. There's a part of the song where it slows down. After that, it slows down and goes. Until you realize that I realized I was going to say this thing to you, and it's... So what that is, is on the uh, G string, these... Pick the 7th uh, fret twice. 6th fret. 
fourth fret, back to the sixth fret, and then the seventh fret of the D string. And then it's back to A, E, D, back to A, and then it's A, E, D, E, A, E, D, A, A. And then the verse repeats, which is... And then it goes E. It changes a little right here. It goes da da dun da da dun dun dun. You can hear the drums beating away. So it's one, two, three. Which is E and A. So it's a E, and then it goes E, D, to A, and it just keeps going back and forth on that. So it does it twice each, and then it goes E twice. So here's how it sounds. And it goes. So after the two E's, it goes D, A. And then it's back to E. And then A. Back to the verse. And there is one high part up here where it's. which is the same as this. It's just an octave higher. There's a lot to be learned on this one, and it's a good song to just strum and learn some picking, some new riffs. Like I said, I've got the PDF, and I'll leave a link in the description so you can get that, and this will help you out a lot. And if you like this video, can you give me a thumbs up, click the like button, leave me a comment. If you have any requests, leave me a comment. And I would like to thank Salvador for requesting this song. I learned a new one. Don't forget to watch that video right there.